It's good odds if we keep losing money and merchandise like we've been. We don't have the balls for this kind of week. Old boy's a paper pusher. This kind of thing's good for fellas like us. Battlefield promotions come a lot quicker. Just do when a man hitting us don't sneak in here and cut your goddamn throat. Maybe you should worry about that. I wonder if he's over there. I wonder if he's over there. Every time we turn around, that color fella's hitting us. Fucking dick shit piece of cock! I'm dead. We had something good here, but that piss sent Greco flushed it down the toilet, and now I'm dead. Sorry, Clive. Go on. Take a coffee break or something, huh? I gotta clear my head. Sure thing, Roy. Need you guys to secure the smuggling operation at the warehouse. I'll send them over. And Lincoln, just cause Greg goes a dipshit doesn't mean he's a pushover. He'll probably send out some of his men, have him try and take you out. So watch your ass. Get your hands on Greco and rough him up all you want. But don't kill him. That's for me.
how did Lincoln Clay convince Thomas Burke, Vito Scaletta, and the woman known as Cassandra to work together? He called a sit-down. He told them to meet him at an old plantation house in the bayou. When he had them all in the same room, he laid out how they were going to take down Marcano. Lincoln could be very persuasive. <laughs> 